What's going on? I'm Marcus. You're at the channel of the Debt Free Dad, where we're talking about finances, trying to get out of debt, and learning a little bit about finance. And today's video is just going to be the November mid month, you know, chat session where I talk a little bit about what's going on. Before we jump into this video, a disclaimer I'm an attorney. I'm not a financial advisor. I'm damn sure not your attorney. So if you're looking for financial advice, legal advice, you won't get that here. Just get a hey, for entertainment purposes. And I'm letting y'all know what we got going on over on this end. Hey, first of all, I want to give a shout out and thanks to everyone who checked out my video. Y'all was all clowning me because of my mic. So I decided to actually drop some bars on the finance side of the game. And so I uploaded it to TikTok and IG. And hey, I appreciate everybody who checked it in, who watched it on YouTube, IG, TikTok, who tuned in. Hey, so far over 4,700 views on TikTok. So I greatly appreciate it. Hey, I know it was kind of corny, but isn't that what TikTok is for? Like making corny stuff. So, you know, hey, hey, I appreciate it. Now, let's talk about how things are going in November. First and foremost, November is going to be an interesting month because we have a lot coming in and a lot going out. First, one new thing that's going on, Mrs. Debt Free Dad did start a new job, so she did get a pay raise. So those are numbers that we're calculating into this month's budget. Um, we'll probably break that a little bit down more when we look at the numbers at the end of the month or maybe a video in December because we're going to have to kind of reallocate everything. But she did get a raise. Congratulations to her. She started a new job. Congratulations to her. So that's one factor. Another factor of additional monies that we'll have coming in probably this month or potentially next month, I will be getting a bonus from my job. So, hey, that's definitely a bonus and a plus. Um, we actually already got plans or already spent that bonus in anticipation of it. Let me let me go ahead into the story. Y'all tell me what I think. All right, this is for fellas. Fellas, if y'all out there watching this video, sometimes not being annoyed and keeping the peace is much better than being correct. So, you know, that's just something that I learned from years of stupidity and experience. So here's the situation. I, I honestly can't understand what the conversation was about. I still don't know. I think I know, but I thought it was kind of a crazy conversation. But y'all let me know, am I, am I tripping? All right, y'all may remember about a month or two ago, actually in my budget video, I had to talk about a repair that I needed to get made for our washing machine. Now, short story about our washing machine. I hate the washing machine. My wife hates the washing machine. It's one of those weird washing machines, you know, where it's already stacked together and, you know, it's, it's not stackable at all. It's just one collective unit. I hate those types of washing machines. But the way our laundry room is set up, which is kind of annoying, is one thing I loathe about this house. It's on the second floor, so the way the laundry room is set up, where you put the units in, you can only get a unit that's either stacked or one complete section, one complete unit uh, together, one on top of the other. So you can't put them in there side by side. And actually where the laundry room is, is a stairwell that runs behind that uh, laundry room. So as you push the unit back into the 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 actual laundry room, the ceiling has a slope in it because there's a set of stairs running up. So the ceiling kind of has a slope like this. So when you push in the units back, it can only go back so far because the ceiling has a slope. So it made it really hard initially to get a stackable unit in there because they were just too tall and that slope wouldn't allow for us to get the whole unit in. So we had to get this type of unit that we hate. Okay, fast forward. We got some repairs done on it about a month ago, but I thought, and I actually was in Lowe's, and I saw a stackable unit that they made this. It's, it's actually a little bit bigger than what we have, but it doesn't have all this extra stuff. So it's a stackable unit, two separate units, but it's maybe like five inches shorter. So it'll fit perfect in there, and it won't be as annoying as the machine we got. The machine we got, if you put too much clothes in, it's all off balance, and it creates all this goddamn noise, and it's just a pain in the ass. And so... Three weeks ago, I took a picture of this machine at Lowe's and was like, hey, this looks like it'll fit perfect. What do you think? And I sent it to, you know, the wife. She was like, oh, how much it cost? I was like, I don't know. It was, it was something. I really couldn't even remember the price at the time, right? So I sent it that three weeks ago, all right? Two weeks ago. So three weeks ago, I sent her a photo of what I thought we should get because we don't have that much options because most things aren't going to fit in there. So three weeks ago, I sent the photo of that. 
Now, a week later, so that was three weeks. A week later, I actually said, oh, man, you know what? Um, I'm getting a bonus on my job, so I'm going to go ahead and get that wash and dry unit. It'll be cool. Go ahead and get it. Um, and I'll probably go ahead and get it in December, right? That's why I said I'll get it in December. So a week later, so at the three-week mark, so the pictures, at the two-week mark, I was like, hey, I think I'm getting a bonus, so I'll just go ahead and get it in December. Now, about a week ago, essentially what happened is the washing machine we got every now and then, because if the if it's too much clothes in there, it'll be off balance, so it'll make all this goddamn noise, and some of the water may, not a lot, but maybe a little bit of water spill out. Now, it's not falling on the ground or anything, but because this unit is on the second floor, it's just a pain in the ass. Sometimes it may be water in a little dish pan or something that sits underneath the washer dryer, so it's a real pain in the ass. So about a week ago, I go into Lowe's for something else. I don't even know what I was in there for. But I see this unit. It's on sale. And I'm like, oh, man, it's on sale. I'm going to go ahead and get it now. So I went ahead, got the wash and dry unit, and I actually just called the wife and was like, yeah, I got the wash and dry unit. And, you know, that was it. The system's on back order, so they're not going to get it to December 15th. But it is what it is, right? The conversation that ensued afterwards was, well, I thought we were going to make I thought we were going to make uh, or have a conversation about big purchases. And so my face was like, huh? I was like, what? What are you talking about? He was like, well, this was a big purchase and we didn't have a conversation about it. I was like, we talked about it three weeks ago. We talked about it two weeks ago. We talked about it one week ago. I don't understand what there is to have a conversation about. I mean, I was like, what, you want me to take it back or something? I, I'm confused as to what the hell that even comment was about. And so she was like, no, nah, I just want to be to communicate. Now, my pop said the same thing. He was like, she just wants to be in the loop of what's going on. I was like, how much in the loop do you, how much in the loop do you need to be? I don't understand it, but, you know, hey, I'm a lot smarter than I used to be. I was like, oh, okay, I understand. I understand it, but it still doesn't make any sense to me because it's a wash or dry. It'd be different if I spent 2,500 three stacks on a pair of shoes or something stupid but if if we flip it, if we had a conversation about something that we consider a necessity in the house, I honestly don't care when you buy it as long as we got the money to get it. Like if, especially if, uh, this is just my thought, but especially, it would be different if getting that wash and dry would put us in a position where we can't pay our bills. But if that's not the case, who gives a damn? Why is it even an issue? Like, I don't know. What is there to talk about when we already talked about it? If we talk about getting something that's a necessity, six months ago, at that point, I honestly don't care when you get it. I mean, hey, I wanted an air fryer. I never bought an air fryer. I don't care when you get the air fryer. You got the air fryer? Oh, that's cool. I remember us talking about it. So yeah, go ahead and get it. I don't know. I thought it was crazy. Maybe I'm just, uh, I don't know. Maybe I'm just, I don't see what the point is or how the communication was missed. I mean, do I have to talk to you about it the actual day of? If we already talked about it before, once we have the conversation that this is what we're going to get, I don't think it should be brought up ever again. And if whoever finds it first at the best deal, go ahead and get it. I don't know. But that's just kind of how that whole uh, wash and drive thing played out. So what I thought was, because I knew I was getting a bonus, I'll use the bonus to put the money back that I took out to purchase this wash and drive with the old unit. I actually put it on Facebook Marketplace. and I got a bunch of comments about it. Um, so I'm actually going to sell the old unit on Facebook marketplace to try to recoup some money. So that's just some of the stuff coming in, some of the stuff going out. Uh, another thing that's going on this time of month, this time of year, and, and just so people know how it works with, uh, social security benefits, there's a cap on the income that you can get taxed to contribute to the social security fund. So essentially Every November, December, I normally get extra money in my check because my gross income has met the government's cap for what Social Security contributions is. So that's one of the uh, another increase in income that we're going to have from November going through December. So wife got a new job. She got a raise. We got a bonus that's going to be touching down, but we use those funds to cop the washer and dryer that I apparently should have communicated better about. Um, and uh, we're going to get additional monies because we're no longer paying Social Security 
because we met the maximum income limit to pay for Social Security. So that's essentially how Social Security works. Uh, I'm, I, this isn't the cutoff, but just as an example, if the cutoff is $100,000 and you make $150,000, once your gross income hits the $100,000 mark, you don't have to pay Social Security tax on the remaining funds because you already hit that cutoff. And so I know that was one of the big things that uh, Joe Biden wanted to switch up. He wanted to make like a kind of a donut, if you will. And that's kind of how it's set now. If you make over a certain amount of money, once you get to this threshold, you stop paying Social Security tax. I know what Biden wanted to do, which is going to be probably going to be hard to pass, is once you make a certain amount of money, let's say that amount is set at $100,000, anything over $100,000, you won't pay Social Security tax on. But once you start making $200,000, you'll start paying it again. So you work, you work, you make $100,000, you stop paying Social Security tax. You keep earning income, you keep earning income. If you get to $200,000, then you start paying it again. So it gives you that gap in between where you don't pay Social Security taxes. And, you know, I guess that's a way to raise Social Security revenue because that shit will probably be gone by the time I'm old enough to draw it. But that's kind of where we are for the month of November. Um, let me know how y'all November budget is going. And I'm going to be honest, I haven't been tracking my budget for this month. I got to go in and just do a whole bunch of calculations and allocations of things. Um, I don't think I got out of pocket with anything. I can't think of anything offhand in particular where we went over budget. I just haven't been tracking it, you know, actually inserting the dollar amount as I normally do. I normally do it maybe every week or every three days I would go in there to update it. But I'm going to probably update it this weekend just to make sure we're on pace. But no additional expenses came up. We just had a little bit extra going in, a little bit extra going out. With regard to the going out, the only thing extra that we have going out Remember, I did a video some time back where it talked about how the tax office jacked up my tax bill. So based on that, my mortgage payment for December is going to be ridiculously higher than what it should be, even though they got it rectified. Um, I'll get that money reimbursed back to me. But essentially, my mortgage payment is about twenty two hundred bucks a month. They made a mistake. I'm going to have to pay like 5400 bucks a month or something that I talked about in the video I link above. Um, but essentially, because they rectified it, uh, I'll make that payment. They'll issue me a reimbursement check for the overage, and everything will go out in the wash. Um, that's it. That's all I have. As always, I appreciate y'all tuning in. Hey, my bad about not having a Tuesday video. I actually am going to drop a video where I kind of drop. It's actually going to be a series where I talk about cryptocurrency, explain how what it is, how to research it, how to invest in it, how to make money from it in the short term and in the long term, or how I do it. But in explaining cryptocurrency, it was really difficult to explain what blockchain is without having visual images because I'm a visual learner. So I had to go back to the board action and go old school a professor method and write some things out on the board so I can explain what blockchain chain is and have a visualization. Uh, but I'll probably get that video out, first part of that video out next week. Hey, y'all have a good weekend. I'll probably chop it up with y'all on Sunday. Take care, be blessed. Peace. And if you're still tuned in, check out the videos on the screen for more of my financial freedom journey as my family is on the road to financial independence and getting rid of debt. And if you haven't, click on that icon all the way to the right, subscribe to the channel.